All right, I see people popping into our session here. Hi, everybody. We'll give everybody just another minute to get logged on and then we'll go over a couple of housekeeping um, items and then I'll turn it over to your presenter. Okay. I don't want to take up any more time. So um, my name is Megan Russell. I'm the um, newly elected president of West Virginia ACRO, but um, we are happy to have you with us this evening. Um, welcome to our virtual college exploration for all West Virginia students, sponsored by the West Virginia Association of Collegiate Registrars and Admissions Officers and StriveScan. Um, a few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. Um, your camera and your microphone are off, um, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. Um, again, this is just one of the many different sessions that we are offering over the next few weeks, um, so be sure to check out the full schedule at wvacrao.org. Um, and this presentation is also being recorded and will be available within the next week, also at that same website, which again is wvacrao.org. And I will turn it over to your presenters. Thank you so much, Megan. Um, let me get my screen share here. Give me one second, guys. All right, I hope all you guys are doing really good tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, my name's Teresa and I'm an admissions counselor here at Fairmont State University. I have Harry Jeffries, who's also an admissions counselor here with me. Um, Harry's gonna be watching the chat and that Q&A, so please make sure you utilize that. Um, he'd be happy to answer any questions. And if there's something general, we can also answer them live as well. Um, so thank you guys for joining in today. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So many of you guys may have already heard about Fairmont State University, but in case you haven't, Fairmont State University sits on a charming hilltop campus here in Fairmont, West Virginia. Fairmont is a small town located in the north central part of our state. Um, because we are surrounded by a lot of nature here in our campus community, they have a lot of opportunities for a lot of outdoor activities and adventures. To name a few, we're within an hour to two hours of any biking, camping, rafting, skiing, anything that you can think of that you enjoy doing outdoors, we're very close to, again, one to two hours away. Um, you can see here, um, one of my favorite state parks, Valley Falls, is only about 20 minutes from our campus. It's a really good place to go out and study if you have some downtime or just wanna kinda disconnect from the virtual world for a little bit and go out and study in your books, just very close to our campus. Some major cities that we're close to, we're about an hour and a half from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and we're about three and a half hours from Columbus and Cleveland, Ohio. So a couple of big cities that if you want to go on some other types of adventures and enjoy the city life, you can definitely do that. Fairmont State University was actually founded back in 1865. We are about 155 years old, and that happened this year. So it's kind of exciting that we are such an old campus. Fairmont State University is actually one of the oldest public institutions in the state of West Virginia. Fairmont was actually founded as a college to prepare teachers for an education or career in education. And since then we've became um, very comprehensive in our liberal arts and science institutions. Currently we have about a student enrollment just under 4,000 students. We have a student faculty ratio of 15 to one, the average class size being about 22 students. So what that means for you as a student here at Fairmont State is you really get to know your professors. So when you express your interests and your career goals to those professors, they're gonna do everything they can to help you push forward and succeed and achieve those goals. So it's really good that we have that 15 to one student faculty ratio. This building um, here in the middle, this is our Falcon Center, and I call this the heart of our university. Fairmont State University sits on 120 acres of a tree-filled campus. So coming to our campus this time of year, it's beautiful um, because all the trees are changing on campus and it's just, it's very pretty to look at. 
We have five different residence halls with a wide range of living opportunities, everything from single suites to quad suites. And we'll talk more in depth about each of our residence halls in a few moments. Just so you do know though, our, all of our campus residents do get fully furnished rooms, self-controlled heating and air conditioning, Wi-Fi throughout our campus. We also have ethernet hookups in every residence hall um, in the rooms. And then we also have laundry services within each of the residence halls as well. And that's at no additional cost. All you have to provide is your own laundry detergent, dryer sheets, fabric softener, whatever you need to do your laundry. But you don't have to worry about carrying the change around. Also because of our size, campus residents are never more than a short five to 10 minute walk from their classes, dining, recreation, and even our athletic events. So it makes it very convenient for students to be able to partake in anything and everything they want to. Also, there's plenty of parking available here in our campus, whether you live on campus as a resident or you live off campus within a 50 mile radius, students are able to bring their, their vehicles here to campus day one freshman year, and your parking permit is included in your university fees. So you're not actually paying extra to be able to park here on campus. The hub of activity here on our campus does revolve around our Falcon Center, um, which our Falcon Center on the third floor houses our dining hall. On our second floor, we have our Chick-fil-A, our fitness center, our Chalaca, which is like a Quadoba or Chipotle set up Mexican restaurant. We also have our full service Starbucks that not only provides the drinks, we, they also provide the merchandise of Starbucks as well as any pastries and things that you would like to eat. We also have our campus bookstore on the second floor of our Falcon Center as well. On the third floor, one thing I forgot to mention is our student health. That student health is kind of like a med express here on campus just for our students. You're able to go in there if you're feeling sick, maybe you, know, you tripped, fell, you need somebody to you know, patch you up. Um, you can go up there at no, no copay required um, and that's a nice, nice little thing for our students here as well. On our, third, our first floor, we not only have two basketball courts, we also have our um, ID services. So for student services with their ID cards, anything you need can be done on the first floor of our Falcon Center. And then we also do have our locker rooms and then our pool. And we do have an, a track as well that's located. It's a quarter mile, it's in the figure eight shape, and it's located between the second and third floor of our Falcon Center. Fairmont State University offers over 50 different undergraduate programs, and we have over 100 different programs of study. We do offer several programs that you can't find anywhere else in West Virginia. Some of those include national security and intelligence, community health education, architecture, and the FAA Part 414 Flight School. So you're sure to be able to find a major that you love. And because of our size, you get a real world hands-on experience on state-of-the-art equipment sooner than you might at another university that's larger. Our academic programs will equip you with some critical thinking and reasoning skills, plus a high verbal and written abilities. So we do have a lot of programs that you're going to be hands-on, doing exactly what you wanna be doing, much like in our engineering department and in forensics. If you're not sure about what to major in, don't worry. Don't let that stress you out. Um, I actually started Fairmont State as an undeclared major, so it's completely fine. Um, however, we do nowadays offer something called the Academic Pathways. The Academic Pathways is actually a cluster of academic programs with overlapping research of creative interest, related coursework, or similar career paths. So if you're just not sure exactly what you want to major in, but you kind of know what you want your end goal to be, this is a great way to do that. While you're, while you're in an academic program, or pathway, excuse me, um, you're actually able to stay on track for graduation. So in essence, you're actually gonna save tuition dollars because you're not gonna be changing majors. You're gonna be already studying in that field that you're, you have that interest for. And no matter the major that you choose, there's no excuse not to be successful here at Fairmont State University. We do offer our tutoring and testing services free of charge for our students. We offer individual, group, and also walk-in tutoring services at no additional cost. And there's also no cap on the number of hours that you can take for tutoring. 
Last year, our tutoring center actually provided over a thousand hours of tutoring. And one nice thing to know about our tutoring center, sometimes you may walk in there and actually see one of your professors volunteering their time to assist their students. So you really get that, you know, that knowledge from that expert, that person that gave you that assignment. Something else we do offer here is our writing center. Our writing center assists students in critiquing papers or essays. They also assist students in resume writing. So if you need help once you're starting to look for that job that you're hoping to land, our writing center is definitely someone to check somewhere to check out. This just talks a little bit about what makes Fairmont State unique. Um, Fairmont State attracts students who aren't afraid to forge new trails. That's why we've developed programs that you simply can't find anywhere else in the state. Um, again, those four programs that we offer is the Community Health, National Security Intelligence, Architecture, and that FAA Part 141 Flight School. Um, you can also find teacher mentors at Fairmont State University who are the experts in their field who live, who love and live to teach. Many of our faculty and staff will have actually worked within their field before coming back to teach. So that's one thing to keep in mind as well. Some of our top majors here at Fairmont State University are nursing, business and aviation, education and exercise science, criminal justice, national security and intelligence, engineering, forensics, and then our natural sciences, which include chemistry and biology. Um, with forensics, please note that if you do get a major in forensics, you automatically minor in chemistry, just because it is very chemistry heavy. And with so many programs, I know it might be just, might be hard just to pick a couple top majors, but these are just some of the ones that we do see lots of interest in and we see a lot of students questioning about. So getting involved in campus life is kind of one of my biggest things. I love to be involved in anything and everything I can. I was actually involved in some clubs when I was at Fairmont State University. Fairmont State University is in the NCAA Division II, which is the Mountain East Conference. We have 17 different teams between men's and women's sports. We offer over 50 different clubs and organizations. So if they're not only is it a great way to explore your field as we do offer made, um, clubs and organizations within majors, but you can also find things that are just of your interest and build friendships that can last a lifetime. If you don't find a club that you're interested in or maybe you don't see something that you really would like to get involved in, don't worry because it's very easy to create your own club and then you can actually leave your mark here at Fairmont State University. It only takes five of your friends to assist you in creating a club or organization. Fairmont State does have a very vibrant and active Greek life community with not only social sororities and fraternities, but also professional and honorary. Some of those are housed within different departments. Um, we also offer dozens of intramural activities, including solo and team sports. We also offer club sports. Um, the club sports is where teams actually will compete against other club teams from other schools. Um, with a combined 17 sports for men and women, the Falcons and the fans cheer them on. Again, we are in the NCAA Division II Mountain East Conference. And best of all, as a Fairmont State University student, you get free admission into all athletic events with your valid student ID card. We also do team up with WVU for our ROTC programs. Um, we have Army as well as US Air Force ROTC. Currently, John Dowling is a perfect contact to help you answer any direct questions related to ROTC. We did recently find out that Captain Costello did take another assignment. Um, so unfortunately, he's not with us anymore. However, we do have Mr. Dowling. And if you would want, please use that contact information or if you need, you, my contact information will be at the end of the presentation. You can always email me and I can also get you that contact information as well. So I know now you're thinking, okay, you've talked about all the programs, you've talked about some stuff I can get involved in, where am I gonna live? So let's talk about some housing and residence life. We have five different residence halls. 
Three of those are traditional residence halls, and traditional meaning that your room is in one area and you have a community bathroom. Those traditional residence halls is Morrow, Pritchard, and Pence. We also offer two suite or apartment style residence halls, Bryant Place and University Terrace. And I will actually um, talk about each one of those individually here in a moment. Currently, our housing application is open for fall 2021 for all students that have been admitted and have activated their UCA. So if you have been admitted and successfully used, activated your UCA, you are able to apply for housing. However, if you have not been able to activate your UCA, you can let us know and we can assist you and with that process. Um, we're hoping to have all students activated beginning of November. Filling out that housing, housing application is located in the student portal, which is located at the myfairmontstate.edu, and it is represented by that little house icon. You would just click that and submit that housing application, and there is a $200 deposit for a housing application. If you live within the 50 mile radius of our campus, you are not required to live on campus. However, I would highly suggest it for at least the first year, just because it, it's a good experience. Um, but if you do live within that 50 mile radius and are going to commute, you do have an option for that exemption request. And that is also located under that housing icon. If you have any questions or concerns about that, we'd be happy to assist you. We have four different living and learning communities that you're able to join. The living and learning communities we have is Thrive, which stands for thoughtfulness, health, restoration, introspection, values, and exercise. We also have honors, NSI, and poli sci. Um, those are our living and learning communities. Um, if you live with out, outside the 50 mile radius, you are required to live on our campus for the first two years. Um, and again, our housing application just opened yesterday. And if you have any direct questions related to housing, please feel free to contact 304-367-4216 or reslife at fairmontstate.edu. Um, if you have any other questions, an admissions counselor would be happy to assist you as well. So let's kind of break down each of our residence halls. The first one I have up here is our Morrow Residence Hall. So Morrow Hall is actually one of the oldest residence halls here on our campus, and it is centrally located. So it is a prime popular choice for a lot of our incoming residents. Morrow Hall was first opened as an all-female residence hall, but now, like, my, like all of our other residence halls, is actually co-ed. Um, Morrow is the home of the Thrive Living and Learning Community. And this does show a couple pictures. Just note that all furniture within Morrow Hall, within your room, you can move and make it your own. Also, they do have the pool table down in their lobby with some snack machines by their, um, by their mailboxes. The next one I want to talk about is Pritchard Hall. Pritchard Hall is actually right next to Morrow Hall. And Pritchard is known for having the library in their lobby, which you can kind of see there in that bottom corner picture. Um, also know that they do have um, lots of extra space because they do have the built-in closets and desks, so it provides many more areas to store stuff for students. Um, you can also move around like your bedding and things in that room as well. Pritchard is home to our um, honors learning and living community as well. Now we have Pence Hall. Pence Hall is named for having the large living area. And you can see that there in that bottom picture represented by all of those windows. And also because of all those windows, Pence actually has the best view of campus because it kind of overlooks our whole campus. It was once known to house um, all male students and then it did become like a athletics residence hall, but now Pence is known to be housing a, many of our students. Another great feature that Penn's Hall also has is that they have the front door parking. So they actually have their own parking lot right outside of their residence hall. So if there's a basketball game or a football game and you're already at your house or in your room, all you have to do is walk out that front door and across and you'll be right there at that basketball game or that football game. So it's really great for game days. Bryant Place is our first suite style um, that we had. And it is set up for the living there. You can see our floor plan that actually pictures a single suite. 
A double would look much like that, except for instead of the four separate rooms, it would have two separate rooms. Bryant Place is home to our learning, living and learning communities for national security and intelligence and poli sci. This learning, li living and learning community is, lo is conveniently located to be close to the professors of those programs, plus classrooms are regularly used on the sixth floor for um, national security intelligence and poli sci classes. And then also there is the campus esteemed 06 lab, the open source intelligence exchange lab, um, which is something that students in their junior year can apply to be part of. And it's a lot of top secret things. So none of us really on campus know what's going on other than the students um, working within there and the professors working with those students. Um, our newest addition, which only opened a couple years ago, is our University Terrace. Um, University Terrace is known to many students as UT. Um, UT is actually made up of three different buildings, the north, the west, and the east. And this complex actually features a direct tunnel access to the practice field, as well as walkways to the Feaster Center. And the Feaster Center is where all of our basketball games are housed, um, volleyball, acro tumbling, and things like that. Um, each room at the University Terrace actually comes with a 50-inch flat screen TV. So that's kind of another added bonus about living in UT. Um, they also do have a marketplace where you can actually go down and kind of grocery shop um, for snacks, drinks, things like that. Um, and some of these do, um, the apartment styles, do have kitchenettes that are also there. And you can see those in the studio apartment, the quad apartment, and the double on there on those floor plans. We are hopeful to have a video of each of our residence halls later this year. Um, due to COVID, we've not been able to really get into our residence halls to take that. So definitely, you know, if you're interested in learning more about each of those or just maybe one particular, let us know and we'll make sure once we get those videos that we're able to share those with you. So what's it going to cost you? What kind of scholarships are offered? Things like this. This is probably your next question that you're thinking about. Fairmont State University not only has one of the lowest tuition rates in our state, but because we have such a stellar outcome, our value is actually unmatchable. We also offer one of the lowest tuitions in our region. So we offer plenty of financial aid, academic programs that are all structured to help you graduate on time. Um, also with these unique programs, you can't find some of them anywhere else. So it makes it very convenient to have it in your own back door. Um, we'll help you earn that degree that leads you to an in-demand career. And we also offer alumni and legacy scholarships for any students that are children of faculty, Falcon alumni um, to be able to come here and have that added opportunity. You can always check out our scholarships at fairmontstate.edu forward slash scholarships. Um, one scholarship too to keep in mind, we do offer, it's called the Opportunity Scholarship. And the Opportunity Scholarship offers West Virginia students an added funding to assist with tuition and fees only. This does not go towards housing, so please keep that in mind. Um, these scholarships are renewable. Um, there are four different tiers. You can get either $500, $1,500, $2,000, or $2,500. Um, please note that with this scholarship, this is a merit-based scholarship. So it does focus on your GPA as well as your ACT or SAT test scores. So just keep that in mind if you've not yet taken your ACT or SAT. If that's something you're looking to find out more about, again, you can look up at um, fairmontstate.edu forward slash scholarships. And then to the left of your screen, just select Opportunity Scholarship. When it comes to, Fair to West Virginia students coming here to Fairmont State, um, our tuition and fees currently is at $7,738. Room and meal plan, the room that they have selected here, as well as um, the meal plan that is selected are, are basics. Um, so the traditional room and then the 15 meal plan, which offers $250 in flex dollars, those combined for one year is $8,784. So that rounds out about $16,522 for a year. And just keep in mind, you know, if you're within that 50 mile radius and you're commuting, you don't have to look at that room and meal plan. Um, and if you'd have any questions about wanting to break down to see exactly how much it would cost you, an admissions counselor would be more than happy to work with you with one of their cost sheets and be able to get you a really good basis. Also, if you've already been awarded scholarships, 
um, we can also assist in like figuring out what else you would need to be able to cover that if you're not looking to take out loans. If you have any other direct financial aid questions, I welcome you to call Financial Aid Services at 304-367-4141, or you can always email them at financialaid at fairmontstate.edu. And again, um, also any admissions counselor will be happy to assist you with these questions as well. So what does it take to get into Fairmont State University? If you like what you're seeing, you like what you're hearing, applying is fast and it's easy, and best of all, it's free to apply. To apply, all you gotta go to is fairmontstate.edu forward slash apply, and you're able to complete that application very quickly, get it submitted, request your high school transcripts, or if you're homeschooled, your homeschool transcripts, get those sent to Fairmont State University, they have to come directly from your school for them to be considered official transcripts, and we'll be able to get you an admissions decision. As of right now, you must have at least a 2.0 overall GPA, and um, normally when we're not in COVID, we do require an 18 ACT or a 950 SAT, but for the fall 2021, we have waived those test scores. But if you're interested in getting that opportunity scholarship, Please keep in mind you do have to take either your ACT or SAT and achieve certain levels to be able to get awarded that opportunity scholarship. The only other thing we would need from you is a copy of your MMR or your immunization record. And this is something that you can co contact your doctor, your primary care doctor, and be able to get them to send you right away, um, or they can send it directly to Fairmont State University. And if you are not currently looking to attend in the fall 2021, maybe you're looking to attend fall 2022, always know that our general admission requirements is a 2.0 overall high school GPA with an 18 ACT or 950 SAT. But if you have a 3.0 overall GPA, you must take your ACT or SAT, but the actual score is not a certain requirement. There's no specific score you need to look into. Um, always achieve your best, just because that does open you up for more possibilities with that opportunity scholarship. And if you are a transfer student and looking to transfer to Fairmont State University, you must submit your official college transcript, and that must be a 2.0 overall GPA. If you're transferring with less than 24 credit hours from that college or university, please note that you must also turn in your high school transcript. And again, it must show that 2.0 overall GPA. So if you, would lo if you love what you hear and you wanna connect with us after today, um, you can do it in multiple different ways. We have our email, which is our general office email is recruit at fairmontstate.edu. You can always call us at 304-367 4855, or visit us online at fairmontstate.edu forward slash admit. Please make sure to follow us. Um, all of our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and also Snapchat are all with that handle of at Fairmont State. Um, many of our admission counselors also do have Twitter accounts. Um, you can also connect with us directly on there. And um, if you question anything on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or Snapchat, somebody will get back to you as soon as possible. We also do have a live chat on our website that is monitored from 8 to 4, Monday through Friday. So if you have a quick question and want to just touch base, please feel free to also um, connect with us as well there. This is my direct contact information. Um, again, Teresa Twig is my name. I'm an admissions counselor. My phone number is 304 612-4358, that is my work cell phone number. So please feel free, you can call or text that number if you have any questions. Um, if you wanna set up a virtual visit, we offer those online as well. So you're always able to do that. If you wanna email me, it's teresa.twig, T-W-I-G-G, at fairmontstate.edu. Again, I'll just spell that out for you. It's T-H-E-R-E-S-A dot T-W-I-G-G at fairmontstate.edu. And I wanna see if there's any questions coming in. Um, please feel free to ask questions as you need. We'll sit on here and wait for a couple minutes, see if anybody's on here. 
Um, I do see a question. Um, I want to attend your nursing program. Awesome. Our nursing program is amazing. What is included in that program and how many years is that class? So our nursing program is actually um, set up for a ASN program first, so about two years. You do have to have your TEAS test taken and you have to get a cumulative 60 on that TEAS test as well as you do have some pre-required courses, which we do require normally within your first year as a student before going into the full nursing program, you'll be able to take your English 1, English 2, anatomy, physiology, intro to psychology, and then I'm missing one, um, nutrition um, is the other one that you would also need along with that T score. Um, TEAS tests can be accessed at ATITesting.com, and that'll show where all testing is required or um, being offered, I apologize. Um, and with that, what you can do is you can either take it in person or ATI is offering proctored tests online. So you can also do that as well. Can you hear more about the biology and chemistry departments? You sure can. Um, and will we, we be offering in-person tours this following year? So to be honest with you, the in-person tours, we're actually working very, very hard with our campus security, uh, our campus police, and our leadership to get in-person tours. But right now we are being very cautious with COVID um, because we are trying to stop the spread as much as possible here on our campus. We've been very fortunate so far to be able to do so. Um, and when it comes to the in-person tours, we will be advertising those hopefully soon when they'll be taking place. And what I would urge you to do, Laura, is um, I'm sure Harry will take note and we will be able to reach out to you directly, especially if you've already put an inquiry in, we'll be able to reach out to you directly and let you know, hey, we're doing in-person tours. Um, when it comes to biology and chemistry, what kind of things are you looking for? Are you looking to see kind of what classes you'd be required to take? Um, send me a follow-up with that question. Let me know what kind of things you're looking at. Um, what requirements are there for psychology? Awesome, so psychology is a great, great program within our College of Liberal Arts. Um, so it really, it depends. What I can do is we can email you um, once I get the follow-up sheet, we can email you a program sheet so that you can actually see what you would need to do for psychology. Um, let me make a note of your name, if that's cool, and then we'll be able to get that out to you for psych. Um, medical field but don't know what I should do for majoring. Okay, so for the person asking about the medical field, um, if you're wanting to be a doctor, um, I've had a lot of people coming through our biology or chemistry department, getting their four-year undergrad, and then going on to take their MCATs. And we do have a student that actually went to medical school that comes back and assists students that are interested in the medical field with um, doing some research and learning how to study for that MCAT. So that is definitely an option. We do also have a lot of students that do go through the forensics department um, for medical school as well. So as long as you're getting a lot of that chemistry, which is what you're gonna be looking for when it comes to medical school, that is definitely something that I would urge you to look into. These are great questions, guys. What other kinds of questions do you have? And those questions about psychology and bio and chemistry, um, I write down your names and I will actually try to reach out to you as soon as I get my list and provide those program sheets for you guys. Okay, awesome, so pharmaceutical school. I love that, that's great. Um, trying to see what classes will prepare me. So actually going into either biology or chemistry would be great pathways for the School of Pharmacy. Um, what I'll do is I'm gonna add that note here to my notes to email you. So that way I'll know to include some information about that um, because that's a, that's a really good pathway um, for our pre-pharmacy program to be able to get into. Oh, of course, I'll add you to that list for psychology as well. That's not a problem.
These are awesome questions, guys. What other things do you guys have? Again, if you're interested in in-person um, visits, please you know, make a note, just write in person, and I'll make note of who you are, so that way I can try to reach out to you as soon as we get, um, get that go ahead about having in person things. Okay, so um, I saw a couple other people ask this question um, that looks like Harry's already responded. Um, when is our next Marina White Day? So we will actually be having a Marina White Week um, coming up here the second week of November. So with the Marina White, please know that our Marina White will be split up by colleges. And depending on what you're looking to study, you can attend as many sessions as you want to. Again, that's going to be coming up the second week of November, starts November 8th and goes to that Saturday. Um, each day is designated to a certain college. Um, and there's also housing, financial aid, student life, residence life. We're offering some virtual visits during that week. Um, we were hopeful to be able to have our in-person visits that week, but I'm not sure that that'll be able to happen. So keep your eye out. Um, if you've already been getting mail from Fairmont State University, please know that you'll probably be getting a postcard here in the near future about Marine and White events. So that way you guys can you know, take advantage of getting signed up. You can actually sign up for them now. They are on our website. Um, so please note that you can do that. Um, so what Marine and White Day is, um, normally Marine and White Day is kind of like a big college fair where each of our departments, so we would have, um, I know you're interested in biology and chemistry, so we would actually have our science department, our natural sciences set up at a table and any questions related to that program, you would be able to go up to them and talk to them, talk to either advisors, professors, deans, chairs of that department, and be able to get some questions answered. So um, for biology and chemistry, if you wanna make note, that day is gonna be November the 12th, it's a Thursday, and um, things will be starting that morning with natural sciences, which biology and chemistry will be in in that, um, I believe at 9 a.m. or 10 a.m. I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, and then there will be an overview that evening. So that way, if you weren't able to make that morning session due to school or whatnot, you are able to attend that evening and kind of get some other questions answered. But it, it does give a good, good opportunity to just kind of review Fairmont State University, get a good feel of, you know, some people that work in that department, faces that you might recognize and things like that once you're a student here and part of the Falcon family. These are great questions, guys. Is there any other questions that I can answer? I know us here in our admissions and recruitment office, we all miss seeing you guys in your schools and getting to hang out with you all, you know, in person. So we, as much as you guys, I'm sure, want to be on campus visiting us, you know, we definitely want to be in your schools, seeing you guys and getting to talk to you more face to face. So um, hopefully, you know, in the spring and next fall, you know, things will be different. Um, but if you guys ever have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, admissions counselors are starting to give calls to a lot of our students that have already placed inquiries or applied already. So, you know, if you have any questions, when they give you a call, just, you know, talk to them, let them know, and we'll be happy to help you. I really appreciate all the questions, guys. This is great. And if you've already inquired, the, the few people that have asked about um, some program sheets, if you've already placed an inquiry, I'll look you up in our system and see and if you've already placed an inquiry, I'll be able to email those out to you this after, well, this evening. Um, so that way we can get those to you as quickly as possible. So that way, if you wanted to set up a one-on-one -on -one session with an admissions counselor for your area, um, we can get that set up. Um, and we can also even see if some of the professors um, in, in that department are also able to join as well. Um, they always like meeting our future students. We only have about five minutes left, so if anybody has any other questions, um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna switch this back um, one slide so you guys get to see our 
general recruit information. Again, know that we always have our live chat and it's always monitored Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can always reach us at that email address, recruit at fairmontstate.edu, or you can always call us and talk to us at 304-367-4855. And then just make sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat with the handle at Fairmont State. Um, this has been a really great session. I look forward to seeing all of you guys in the future and getting you guys part of the Falcon family. So it was great meeting with you all, and I can't wait to talk to you guys again soon. If you have any questions, we'll still be on here for a few more minutes, so please feel free to send questions. And anybody that's tuning in during this recording, please feel free to reach out to us at any time. We're always happy to answer your questions and your concerns. Um, and with COVID, you know, we wish you could be here on our campus, but unfortunately right now um, we do have um, our campuses closed. And um, when it comes to the requirements for psychology, there, you actually just have to be admitted. There's no pre-required courses for psychology. So once you're admitted, you would just select that you want to study psychology, and I'll be able to send you that um, program sheet so you can see what classes you would need to take while you're in that field. I want to make sure I don't miss anybody's questions here. Um, again, guys, know that our Maroon and White Week is going to be happening November the 8th through the 14th. Um, there's different schools are presenting different days, um, and we'll be kicking that off. You can register for that already online. If I can bring this up here. Also, let me show you guys how to get a virtual visit um, while we're here for a couple more minutes. So if you are interested in Fairmont State University, but you want to learn more, um, we do offer an information session, which those are on Tuesday evenings from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. And they're either hosted by our senior director of recruitment or one of us admission counselors. We do offer the one-on-one -on -one with an admissions counselor, which those are with a counselor from your, ter from your area, from your county, um, or if you are out of state and out of state area. Um, and lastly, we do also offer our video tour where you can actually go in here and watch a video about our campus led by one of our student ambassadors. All right, guys, well, it's been a really great session. It was great talking with you all. I'm going to turn this back over to Megan, and please feel free to reach out to us if you have any other questions. Have a great night. Hi, everybody. I hope you had a great time learning about Fairmont State. Um, just a couple of things before we sign off. Um, when you close the box um, for this session, you will have a quick survey. It's a very quick four question survey and we'd love to have um, any of the feedback that you're willing to give us. Um, again, this is just one of many sessions that we're holding over the next three weeks. Um, so you can check those out at wvacrao.org. Um, and again, this recording will be available in about a week. Um, and again, those will be um, uh, found along with all of the other sessions that we've had, again, on wvacrao.org. Thanks, everybody, for joining us, and we hope you have a great evening.